Hello, my friends. It's Jen Pittabach with By the Shore Stamping. Welcome into another edition of Teach Me Tuesday. I am excited today. I've got a lot to share with you, actually. So I want to start with some brand new early release product that is available for some of it's only available for this month only. The bundle is actually a sneak peek of a bundle that's coming out in the January through June mini catalog, but where it's all available right now in November. Um, so it just started today. So I'm going to show you that and I'll show you some samples. And then we're going to recreate a card that I made this weekend at my holiday card class um, using some supplies that I'm doing in our team retreat this weekend. So let's go ahead and show you this first. So this is the brand new product. So this bundle, it's called Eden's Garden, is going to be available in the January through June mini catalog, which comes out in January, hence its name. And so it's got this beautiful, look at that, is that not gorgeous? Lots of like ornate layer kind of dies, which I love. And then the coordinating stamp set, which is beautiful. And I'll show you a little bit with that in a second. Also included in the suite are these really cool gems. So you got the two different types. You've got these cool, these are look like um, evening evergreen and these look like soft succulent for colors. And then these are just kind of your classic rhinestones. And these are almost like teardrop rhinestones. So those are really pretty. Also part of the suite is this 12 by 12 cotton paper. So as I'm saying it's part of the suite, let me just clarify that. So the suite, the collection is only available for November. So the bundle will be available in January, but you can only get this cotton paper, the gems, and the pattern paper, which I'll show you in a second, in November. So if you love this stuff, you're going to want to get it ASAP because once it's gone, it's gone, especially this specialty stuff. So this is actual cotton paper. It feels kind of like tissue paper, but it's got a shiny side and then a flatter side, and it comes in the two colors, the soft succulent and the evening evergreen. This would be really fun for punching. It would be great for die cutting. Um, it would be great for a lot of different things. Tearing, this would be really fun if you like to tear things and give that texture. And then the last part of the bundle or the available product, this again is while supplies last, guys. So if you like it, get it ASAP. But you can see it's got some, it's specialty paper. It's got some gold foiling in it. Um, you can see just some different patterns here that I have because I've already cut it up and started playing with it. And like I said, I'll show you some samples in just a second. But I just wanted to show you the pattern paper. Um, it's really pretty. That's the same one. And you've got this with uh, this one. And then that's the back side of that one. I don't know what, oh, that was the polka dot one. And there's this leaf. And then there's this one. Really, really pretty, pretty, pretty paper. Um, so that, like I said, is available only for the month of November. So the pattern paper, the cotton paper, and the gems are only available this month. It's exclusive. You can do the whole collection. It's $82 for everything I just showed you. Um, like I said, the stamp set and the dies will be available moving forward in January, but the rest of this is not. So let me show you a few samples that I made with this. So this is actually going to be a class from my team retreat this weekend. We are doing a class using this suite. So you can see like there's some of the die cuts. Um, there's this one. We used the border die cut. If you're coming to the retreat, this is a really late spoiler alert. Um, this is another one where I use those fun teardrop dies and that, um, or gems rather, and some of the fun dies. And then here's the last one that I made using that product. I love this little stamp too. It's so cute. So there's a sneak peek and it's not really a sneak peek because it's all available right now. But like I said, it's while supplies last. So if any of that is of interest to you, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Otherwise, you can always go to my online store, jenpitta.stampinup.net, and you can order at any time. All right, so now on to today's card. So I taught my first in-person card class in a really long time this weekend, and we made this card. And it was one of the most popular 
cards of the weekend. So I thought I would recreate it for a painted Christmas class that I am doing this weekend for my team retreat. So the first set of Eden's Garden cards I showed you, those are part of my team retreat. And then I'll sneak peek these too. So if you're attending this weekend and you want it to be a surprise, um, here are our... Um, other cards that we'll be making this weekend. So you can see I have a lot of evergreen and soft succulent themes here. Um, but these are the, f we're actually going to do five. I'm going to show you the fifth one in a second. So we're making all of those at my team retreat this weekend as well. I think they're making like 16 projects. So they've got a lot of stamping to do, but it's going to be a great day. I'm super excited. Okay, so let me make this card for you. So I, like I said, it's the same card as I showed you in the beginning. I just switched up the color so you can kind of see the difference. I wanted it to coordinate with my other cards from the Painted Christmas Suite. I love a good coordinated card set. I'm just kind of anal about that. All right, so first up, I'm going to go ahead and fold in half my real red cardstock. It measures five and a half by eight and a half. And then I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of evening evergreen you guys i'm totally loving evening evergreen and soft succulent right now they are like go-to colors for me they're just really really pretty okay so now i did that i'm going to set that aside and i have a piece of three and three quarters by five inch basic white and i'm going to grab soft succulent real red and evening evergreen as inks okay and i have a little thin strip of the painted christmas designer series paper, which I'm kind of using as a anchor in this. I'm gonna slant cut it on an angle and I'm just gonna kind of place it here but not tape it down, okay? So I'm gonna use this soft succulent leaves as my first layer. So I'm using soft succulent and these two holly leaves which are actually attached together so you can get them spaced perfectly. And then we're gonna go ahead and use that as my guide. So I want that right about there. I am going to have a couple of other layering pieces on it, so I'm going a little above it and a little below it. I do move it out of the way just because I don't want to stamp on it. Okay, I'm going to move that ink out of the way. We're going to grab this cool little leaf image and I'm going to put that right in here. Okay, and then another one down here. Okay, and then last we're going to add in some red holly berries. I'm going to add one over here kind of towards the edge like that. And then we'll add one down here like that. And I think that will probably be enough, but I'll leave these handy just in case. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach this piece to my white. I love this. Um, I didn't even show you the stamp set, did I? I love this stamp set. It's called Painted Christmas. Oh, it's right here. And it looks like so. Uh, I'm sorry, it's called Christmas Season. The whole suite is called Painted Christmas. And then this is the coordinating um, word set. So this is a really big bundle. It's got um, a really big suite. It's got two bundles in the suite, plus the pattern paper, which I'll show you in a second, and some coordinating um, elements but the paper is beautiful too so let me just go ahead and put this down that's gonna go kind of, oh actually you know what I lied it's gonna kind of go more towards the bottom of those leaves okay um, let me show you the paper so I love the paper it's kind of traditional but it's got like that pine coney evergreeny look I'm putting a Y on everything today apparently but I love that it's like traditional, but like really fun and funky patterns too. So it's not, um, it's not your typical, I think it's a really different paper pack, which I love. Okay, so that's that. Now I have a little strip of our um, gold six by six paper. This is actually from the rose gold and gold pack in our annual catalog. So there's also rose gold pieces. I'm just using the gold right now. I'm just folding those over because this is a little bit too thin for my adhesive. I am going to kind of put this out a little bit closer to the edge like that. Okay. Now we're going to use the, um, the evening evergreen here. And I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from that Christmas to remember stamp set. Ink that up. I kind of cut this a little small, so we're going to challenge my, myself a little bit. 
see how we do. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on there. Ta-da! Look at that. All right, it's like I've done this before. And then I'm going to cut this on a little tiny slant like that, okay? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pop this onto my card with some dimensionals, okay? So let me grab those. And it was so fun to see so many of my scrappy and stampy friends this weekend at cool crop so if you were there it did my heart good to see you and i hope that we can see you all again soon and if you weren't there you missed out but hopefully 2022 we'll be back in business that's the the hope for my retreats i am getting ready to mail out 72 boxes next week for our virtual version so if you're attending that it'll be almost as good as seeing each other in person you know what's really cool about being virtually is we can actually have people from all across the country with us which is kind of neat so i do like that all right so i'm going to go ahead and attach this to the card base now okay and it's going to be, I've been kind of quiet this week, and I apologize for that. It is a super busy week. I've got Sweetly Scrapped and Stamp Club going out tomorrow. I've got uh, my team retreat on Saturday. I've got On Stage, which is our annual convention, next weekend. And, of course, I'm shipping 72 boxes next week. I've got um, my virtual card class kits, which are going out at the end of this week. So it is super crazy in here. So um, <laughs> to say the studio looks like a war zone would be an understatement. Okay, so last things last or first, I don't know, is I'm going to add a few more rhinestones or not a few. I'm going to add a few rhinestones here. I'm using the in color jewels because that is what the team is getting in their goodie bag this weekend. But as you can see, I've used most of mine. I would probably used I think I actually I used the lighter ones. I used the soft succulent ones on this one. I probably would use the evening evergreens normally, but I'm going to use the yellow and pick that up from the gold here. It's kind of cool because they kind of pick up the colors of whatever's around them, so it will start to look a little bit green-ish. And I'm just going to pop these down just because I don't have enough of the green ones. I want to do at least three. So I'll put that like that. And there we have the finished card. So um, I only had two of the green, so I didn't want to do just two. I like to do odd numbers, if you know if you know me at all. All right, so that is that. I will be back on Thursday for our Facebook Live on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can go to Facebook and search by the Shore Stamping, and you can find me there. I will probably be de um, be showing you some Eden's Garden projects, or a project, probably not dual, um, so that you can kind of check that out in real life a little bit. So be sure to join me. I hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!